Hey guys, this is Claire. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of Google Foo today. Um, so here we are, I've started off on Craigslist in Vancouver, and we have someone here in North Vancouver who's sending what they're calling an Art Nouveau gilded metal box for $40 Canadian. And you can see the pictures here. It doesn't really give us a whole lot to go on. Basically it's Art Nouveau, it's the size, There's they're saying it's a gilded box, early 1900s. And we have a mark at the bottom here, saying JB, and there's a little bit mark there, so it's possibly, it's a, that's possibly a model number. Um, so, okay, does this actually give us enough to go on? Can we actually figure out what this might be? So we started off, Art Nouveau Jewelry Box. And, I mean, straight away we've got some hits. We've got some stuff that looks kind of fairly similar. And just from clicking around, I could take a look at, like, here. That looks kind of promising, over here. And the same name keeps coming up in this JB, so Jennings. Jennings Brothers. And that's pretty good. I mean, at least that, that's going to give us something to work with. So let's let's continue. Let's start with the Jennings Brothers Art Nouveau Jewelry Box. Now, we're starting to get a bit closer. You can see a lot of the hits here that look a lot more like the one that we've got, that we've got here. It's not exactly the same. The, the top looks correct. This, this bit maybe not. So, so let's take, let's keep looking. We're basically looking for the body at this point. And still, still not quite getting anything. There's a lot of, a lot of different variations and what have you here. So we don't quite see, oh, that one there kind of looks, looks kind of correct. Do we have any that might match? And here we go. So the top isn't the same. The body definitely is. Art Nouveau 1905 Jennings Brothers Jewelry Casket Trinket Box. So that's that's pretty good. And maybe maybe the price on this is pretty good. Now remember, these are this guy's asking forty dollars for it. We really want to know first of all what is it? Is this correct? And then is it actually worth forty dollars? And that's going to be forty dollars Canadian. So let's take a look around to see if we find out some more about the Jennings Brothers and. We're looking specifically for anything on their marks, anything on like the company themselves, and it turns out, yeah, we've actually got, we have some information. We've got a blog post here, so let's have a read of that. The Jennings Brothers Metal Foundry, that was opened in 1890 in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Uh, started in two small wooden buildings, a foundry and a brick building. They, ex they expanded to a larger factory building in, in Bridgeport, and they specialize in metal art and maintain a staff of artists, blah, blah, blah. And specifically, Art Nouveau is their thing. That's great. Clocks, bookends, statues, metal cases, silver plated utensils. The original items were signed with the initials JB on each piece. This is good. I mean, this is, this is something. Now, here's the problem. In the early 1950s, the Jennings Brothers Manufacturing Company went out of business and the art object casts were purchased by another company in Philadelphia. They used the original cast to manufacture replicas, which are cheaper versions of the original J, or J items sold at art auctions. That's that's a problem. So we've got a bit of a mystery here. We have a lot of these really nice kind of Art Nouveau pieces, but there are an unknown number of them are going to be cheaper replicas from post 1953 to 54. Um, the ones that are probably really valuable are the ones that would have been from the actual like 1920s. So let's see what eBay's got to say about this. Now, having looked around, I'm looking for Jenning Brothers Art Nouveau box. And here we've got a couple that kind of look fairly promising with a particular bronze pheasant stamp, Art Nouveau, Jennings Brothers. And you see there it's selling quite well. So maybe, you know, it's worthwhile getting it for $40, but eh, I don't really think so. We've got cast metal, cast trinket, jewelry art box. This sold for 25 This one sold for 44 80 This one, completely different one. You see here the different couple of different styles. Here's another one that's kind of similar selling for 57 but that was actually a best offer accepted so who really knows here's another one here which is looks a little bit closer but it's actually in a different a different color so a different type of metal 25 30 this one on a bid 288 now that's just like to the ones that have actually sold if we actually take this off and take a look at the actual listings how many listings we've got yeah there's plenty of listings and they're all different prices and some of them in the same style are just going for much less than, they're not even going for $40. Now there is shipping, obviously, um, but I tend not to look at that because I'm only just looking at what the actual object itself is worth because I mean, you can see here, look at that, what in the hell. Now a lot of them are quite, yeah, that one's kind of similar as people watching that, whatever. 
the thing is, is that if you're going to buy something for resale, you have to assume that you're going to be paying about the same for, you're going to want to charge about the same for shipping. And that can be fairly problematic. Because, I mean, this, these boxes are made of metal, they're going to be quite heavy. So here's the thing. Is this worth $40? I'm going to say it's very much not because you're taking the risk that this is a reproduction and the shipping on it's going to be ridiculous. And you can see, eyeball the sold prices here. And of course, what people are actually selling for, and think, well, this maybe isn't worth it, and we're not sure if it's an actual real deal. And this is basically just from starting with this, just going off the mark, and then going from the look of it. So yeah, here's our <laughs> here's a little lesson for the day, I guess. You can't really you can't really always trust just looking at photos. You really do have to go and take a look at the actual, try and find out what you can about the manufacturer themselves, like especially things looking at the marks, looking at like what what people, you know, the, the fact that there it might be replicas out there really does affect the value of this because you can't tell the difference, especially on the photos here and online, whether something could actually be the be from the correct period from the 1920s or a replica from post 1950s, whatever. So I hope this is useful to you guys and I hope it's informative and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.